Hi folks, welcome back to another episode of the Diabetic Cook. Um, today, the video is going to be slightly different. I'm going to be making a courgette or zucchini salad, um, depending on where you are in the world. But I'm also going to give you a bit of an update, and this is probably on a Saturday. I'll do a, a recipe uh, and an update just for those guys who, for those of you who are interested. So, just quickly on the on the zucchini recipe, I am peeling a, a courgette into strips, into ribbons, and then I'm going to make a, a dressing from some garlic, some chilli, uh, some lemon juice, salt and pepper, mixing it up, and it's a beautiful little fresh side dish to go with um, a, a bit of meat or a piece of chicken that, like, that's been grilled, and it's just a nice light salad. And if you want, you could, at the end, you could probably sprinkle a bit of Parmesan cheese over the top of it, uh, just to, to take it to the next level again. Um, so while I'm doing that, and you can see, it, literally, this is done in real time, so you, you'll be able to see how quick it is. Like, the whole purpose of this journey that I'm on is literally to see, yeah, it, it is healthy, but anytime anybody mentions healthy to me, I automatically think, oh, it's not going to taste great. So my my sole purpose in this, well, not sole purpose, but my purpose in this is to get tasty, healthy food, because I think the concept, we've got to change that. Um, so I thought I'd give you guys a bit of an update. Um, since I announced well, why I never uh, posted for the the three months, it was really just getting my head around it. Now, I w work still worked for long hours, uh, and I was tired, and I thought that was just the norm. Put in a lot of hours get home, I'm a bit tired. During the day, if I've had a, a particularly stressful day or um, anything like that, it was, or a complex day, it was, I, I felt a bit run down. I just put it down to that. It turns out one of the symptoms is it was actually me crashing. Um, and that's why I was tired. I, I would be in business meetings with... Uh, and I'd, I'd be struggling to, to keep awake. Also, what I was doing is I was grabbing fast food. So, w inadvertently, what I was actually doing was I was crashing, giving my body, like, carbohydrates, and then, again, just get, setting myself up for another crash. And that was on repeat. Um, at the weekends... Uh, and because this was this has been going on for years, way longer than I'd done any the YouTube videos, and it was a constant. What am I going to make to eat when I get home? Well, we'll throw in some pasta. We'll put a protein with it. We'll make a quick sauce, and we'll have pasta, or we'll throw some chips in the oven. We'll make something to go along with it, and we'll have that. Or we'll make a, a steak pie. We'll make loads of mash. And we'll, we'll bulk out the dinners. Now, in Scotland, the diet, when I was growing up, was very carb-rich. So it's a bit inbuilt. Um, many a time have I made, uh, well, you guys know that potato and leek soup, or tatty soup, as I call it, um, is my favourite. Favourite soup of all time. My last meal on earth, if I, I got to pick it, would be fried rice, chips and curry sauce. Carb, carb, carb. So that was the diet. So I've got to change my mindset. But I also, little triggers. So if you are feeling tired at, at random points of the day, if you're falling asleep, like after you've had a big meal, again, if you think back, like it was, it was a, a well-known thing growing up in my household that my uh, grandparents after a meal would have a, f a sleep on on the chair well you looking back that's that's somebody crashing after a big meal um so and and medical science has, has obviously come leaps and bounds since then and and it was like strange aches and pains that i would be getting um struggling to get up now 
losing weight um, is one of the big, big factors in getting yourself back on track. I have went a bit extreme because it's I'm one of those people who I can't if I start eating w one packet of crisps I'll eat five um, because it's just it's it's the next 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 and that was the other thing that I noticed and I've particularly noticed over the last few couple of weeks is before I knew the diagnosis I'd be hungry all the time. And it wouldn't be enough to go and go, well, let's make a big meal. It would be, let's grab a quick snack. Let's just grab a chocolate bar. Let's grab a packet of crisps. Let's grab um, a bit of fruit, something like that, which would just then tide you over. And the other thing I noticed was I was always thirsty, constantly. Thirsty, thirsty, thirsty. Then I'd also be going to the toilet. A lot. You put a lot of water in, a lot of water comes out. Okay, so that's just biology. But getting up and going more than normal again, that is a trigger sign. What I've done over the last few weeks is I've changed my diet, yeah, uh, quite dramatically. Um, I'm trying to eat healthier. I'm trying to eat um, intermittently. Um, I've lost another three pounds, so I'm, I'm I've lost a stone in the last two and a half weeks, which is great. Um, I can start to feel the difference. Um, I've got a long way to go. I hope you're with me on the journey. Um, this recipe is one of the ones where it's a nice, quick, light side salad. It's all fresh veg, so again, it's healthy for you, and it's filling. Um, I hope that you guys are looking after yourselves and each other out there. This journey is going to be making healthy food tasty food and I hope um, that you will continue with the journey with me. Every Saturday I'll try and give you guys a recipe that's nice and quick and also an update. I hope you're well. I hope you, you, um, you get everything you're looking for. Stay healthy. Bye for now.